Now to hard pivot away from Disney, let's talk horror. Josh's ho favorite horror franchise, Scream, or as some people online are calling it, Five Cream, which is a much better name. Uh, but oh I, no! I understand that, like the branding of you want to get in new audiences, like Halloween or any other reboot that comes along. So now Scream debuted its first poster and its first trailer, and I'm mixed. Very mixed. Um, I come yeah. into this as a casual Scream fan. I enjoy all of them. Yes, including the third one. I understand that the third one's the weakest, but I can at least have fun with them. But I'm never scared in any Scream movie whatsoever. Yeah. And uh, they do feel and t lean a little more towards meta comedy than horror to me. Yes. Um, they're always just kind of fine. At the same time, here's where I'm going to put all the shields up in the world because I know there's some loyal screen fans out there. The movies have never felt, to me at least, as clever as they think they are. Correct. Like, like the first one, cool. But then they just kind of recycled the same logic of, okay, we're, we're kind of embarrassed that we're a slasher movie, so we're going to poke fun at us and take the piss out of our own movies time and time again. That being said, I'm still excited about this one, just to see the old cast return. However, mm -hmm. if one of the original cast members, Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, or David Arquette, is not the killer this time around, I might actually be pissed. Because you need to do something new and fresh. Like, clearly by this trailer that we're getting, we're not going to have one of the original cast members die in the opening like I kind of hoped. Um, mm. Or if you really want to throw us for a loop, have the person that's being attacked in the beginning be the killer. They fake their death at the beginning, so it's, they're off the table for the rest of the movie type of thing. Um, or they somehow survive, because every screen movie, someone has to die at the beginning. So what if they survive this one? This one, supposedly, it's by the same people that did Ready or Not, which I wasn't the biggest fan of. I thought it was just kind of whatever, as much as I love Samara Weaving. Uh, they've said that this one is going to redefine all the rules while still following the rules. I'm just going, so are we really trying new things? Or are we just trying to adapt for a modern world? And the tagline for the poster that we see here is, it's always someone you know. Which to me further goes, you better be someone from the original cast. Mm -hmm. Please. Because I, I, I won't get off this. It still bothers me that Scary Movie has the better plot twist than Scream. Uh, Dewey should be the killer, and Dewey should have been the killer from day one. Like he's the one that calls um, Sydney in the trailer. What if he purposely calls her back? Like we know in this movie that he's going to not be police chief anymore. He's divorced. He doesn't have the best life. Come on, he's the perfect candidate to be the killer this time around. Or Courtney Cox, who I've just always wanted her to be the villain just so she can die because I've always hated Gale as a character in every single one of these movies. Um, again, this trailer's not scary, though. Like, Dude. as soon as if I saw I the landline, well, I was like, really? Who has a landline anymore? Like, at I, all. Um, well, it's like landline and then immediately showing that she has a cell phone that can turn her locks on and off. Like, What? That the what? Get out of here! Like and you, we know you're just using landlines because color ID is a thing. Don't don't pretend, and like the the trailer simultaneously takes itself way too seriously, and then also has moments that are not played for comedy but are really funny, like her sitting there. Flipping the uh, flipping the the locks to armed and uh, and unarmed, like that's so funny. I, I was like, I know this is supposed to be intense, but this is this feels like a scary movie moment. This is really funny. It takes itself too seriously. There's no comedy whatsoever, um, which I think is one of the reasons why I was like, I don't care for this. I don't want to see this then. Not because like, oh, it's got to be comedy, but like. That was kind of the pull of the original Scream, was like, this is going to be something different, something that is, yes, you'll be able to kind of giggle a little bit, and then also be like, oh no, people are dying. Like, I get none of that here. I get, oh, 
we saw Halloween in 2018, which, by the way, I just found out there are people out there that absolutely hate it and think it's a, think it's a terrible movie. It's great. Wow. It's the Force Awakens of Halloween. Yeah. Okay. Whatever, guys. Um, but, like, it's like they saw that and they're like, oh, we can, we can be a serious movie now after five films and a TV show. Like, no, stop, dude. Like, I... It's like... Did you ever w- end up watching the um, the Scream? Uh, I tried a few show? episodes and I just couldn't get into it. Yeah, why? Why? Because it takes itself way too seriously. It's like, hey, we're gonna use this idea of Scream and plop it into a actual legit serious um, serial killer story. Yeah, it doesn't work. That it just doesn't work on a lot of levels. And to me, this trailer proves that. That you can't, because of the the nature of the story, you can't take it too seriously. And maybe it's just me, but I have this muscle memory as soon as I have, like, a knee-jerk reaction of, wait, you're saying this comes out January, mid-January? Oh, heck no. Like, excuse me? Like, I know this got delayed because of the pandemic a bit, but if Paramount was truly confident in this movie, don't you think they would have moved it out of January? At least to a February or March? Like, January is where movies go to die. Yeah. I, this That seems very ominous to me. The trailer, I know there's going to be diehard screen fans out there that like this. That's awesome. Good for you. Um, yeah. I'm sure there's people out there that didn't like the Halloween Kills trailer, and I thought it was perfect. This, I think they are leaning, just like, oh, look how big this cast is. Anyone could be a suspect. I'm going, well... Too big of a cast could also mean not enough characterizations for your characters, and they kind of become bland and forgettable. Yeah. As much as I'm just kind of okay about all the screen movies, I understand and know all the characters' personalities in almost all of those movies. This, I don't know, it could just be because it's the first trailer, so we're not getting a ton of that, but I, I, I don't know. I don't think this will have the success to the level of Halloween, and also, Scream has always been been very niche i think within the horror genre like the people that like horror movies do live and die by scream because they identify with scream they're like yeah it's making fun of the tropes that i make fun of when i watch horror movies but yeah. i don't think the general public cares about scream as much as the studio thinks it does like the name halloween is big the name Friday the 13th, the name Nightmare on Elm Street, but we've talked about before, names are different than familiarity and actually caring about a franchise. So yeah. will people still care about Scream, which hasn't had a movie in 10 years? We remember how Scream 4 went. I like Scream 4, but that movie fell on its face. I don't know if this will be different this time around. Yeah, I don't either, because... I... Like you said, the original thing for Scream was to make fun of the horror, the horror tropes. Well, by and large, those tropes aren't really around anymore. At least not in like a main, quote unquote, mainstream form of of horror films. Because a lot of people, a lot of directors, a lot of writers have worked really hard to make horror movies take be, to be taken more seriously, to have more diverse storytelling, so that. You know, those tropes don't exist anymore, and it keeps people in the seat longer. And that's, I, I don't think Scream's going to, I agree with you, I don't think it's going to work as well now. Because those tropes don't exist. There's nothing to make fun of. 